The One World Film Festival is a festival with a focus on political issues. It opens this Saturday, and Mitch St. Pierre is a filmmaker whose film, The Border, will be shown on Friday. He's with me in the studio, so w welcome to both of you. Thanks. Good to be with you. Uh, Mitch, your film, The Border, it's about Burma, it's 11 minutes long. Uh, what, do, what, what were you looking at in that film? Um, basically, I've been involved with uh, advocacy work uh, regarding Burma for quite a number of years, and it was actually the One World Film Festival that um, I remember going to the f festival years and years ago, and uh, this was even before I was interested in these global issues, and I remember watching some of the films at the uh, Museum of Nature and just being inspired by seeing, you know, these, these people advocating for these issues of social justice and human rights, um, so that's what got m part of what got me involved in my advocacy work, um, but uh, Burma is something that I've been following for quite a number of years. And uh, one day, I just I decided uh, um, to just actually go out and and do make a film about it, make a film about what's going on on the border of Thailand and Burma, where many of the refugees are fleeing the country of Burma um, from the military dictatorship. Um, so the film focuses around. Of many of the initiatives that are happening on the border of Thailand and Burma. Well, I, I mean, I've heard some uh, some horror stories about uh, the the refugees like being extremely vulnerable, being attacked, uh, all that. I mean, what what did you see? Um, we went into we went actually into Burma. Uh, it's only a little bit in the film, but uh, just because we were worried about uh, the restrictions on filming, um, anybody with a camera in, in Burma. You know, it's subjected to, you know, harassment and, uh, you know, secret police, things like that. So we had to be very careful. Uh, we couldn't film a lot of the people in Burma as well because of, you know, being scared of, uh, uh, of being taken away. I mean, people, people in, in you know, plain clothes, you don't know who, who is the secret police, who's not, and people disappear in that country. So we didn't want to put anybody at risk. So a lot of the filming um, is taking place on the border. But, I mean, you know, we... You know, one of the, the clinics that um, that we see in the film, you know, there's a, a child there who who is fleeing the country, um, escaping to Mesat, which is on the border of Thailand and Burma, and on his way, uh, running through the jungle, um, he stepped on a landmine and uh, had his leg blown off. Oh. So, uh, so part of it, you know, this this clinic that's actually being funded by Canadian by the Canadian government, um, partially funded, and uh, they, the clinic helps out, you know, with prosthetics and helping people with, you know, who have malaria, uh, TB, all these kind of things. Was it difficult to, you know, to, to get over there, get access, uh, be able to, uh, you know, be able to get close to these people? Um, it wasn't, I mean, Mesa, the, the town that we're in is, is a town where many of the refugees come to because of the the initiatives that are happening there this this town on the border specifically i mean there's many many ngos who are doing a, many great things um you know there's orphanages clinics um you know all these kind of things um so it, it wasn't uh too difficult i mean people are still scared i mean a lot of people uh were telling us not to film them even though they're in thailand um because they're still scared of you know the government in burma You've used film basically in terms of ad, like to advance the cause of human rights and, and that. What do you believe is the value, the power of film? I think film is is a great medium. I mean, for I mean, even for myself, that's what inspired me to to do these things was from watching documentaries and even movies that you know have enlightened me on these on these issues. You know, seeing these great stories and just being inspired by the courage that so many people have. Uh, that are doing just so many amazing things around the world. We're going to play a clip from uh, The Border. This is something that you sent us. I don't know if there's anything you want to say before we uh, play it. I guess it'll speak for itself. Okay, we'll give it a listen then. All right, we've made it uh, to the Friendship Bridge. Connects Thailand to Burma. Right across the river here, Burma. Can you talk a little bit maybe about uh, the role of Canada and what, what exactly the Canadian government or Canadian organizations are doing to help out uh, the area. Yeah, the Canadian government has been our 
very supportive for the Burmese democratic movement, mostly empowering the like uh, democratic organization or ethnic minority groups. So this has to be the thing long term commitment politically. At the same time, we need continued support from the Canadian government. Okay, well, that was a clip from uh, Mitch St. Pierre's uh, film, The Border. But I've been talking to uh, Carolyn uh, Elliott Magwood. She's uh, one of the organizers of the World Interaction Mondial Film Festival. Also, Mitch St. Pierre, whose film, The Border, will be screening as part of the Friday lineup. It's all happening at Library and Archives Canada, 395 Wellington. If you want to see the full schedule of the for the festival, you can check out the this website, wiam.ca. Thanks to both of you for talking to me about this. Great, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Oh, 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 oh,